Hi everybody, how are you today? Anyway, I tried to film this once already today with my cell phone and let's just say I shouldn't have done that because that video was crap. Anyway, hi! <laughs> um, I shared a, a, an image a few days ago on Instagram and social media of me um, having taken out the rings out of my um, Filofax. And I am going to show you um, how it turned out. So, I used to carry a um, Filofax Malden. Um, this is the actual one I used to carry in my wallet. It's beautifully, you know, aged and the only reason I didn't do it to this one is because I wasn't sure I was going to like it. And I had a spare, so I did it to the spare. I may end up doing it to both, I don't know. But um, I carried this as my wallet. It had a calendar in it, which is great. Um, it has lots of pockets for cards and notes. And then it has this pocket back here, which I kept money in. You could keep documents in it, but I kept it, money in it. It was my planner slash wallet. Um, I have anxiety issues, and so when I'm having a bad episode, I can't remember where I'm supposed to be or when or, you know, when a certain thing is happening So happening or any of that. So, you know, doctor's names or medications. or So I wrote them all down in here, and it also had my money and everything else, so I always had this with me in my handbag. Now, I do do art for therapy to help me with all of those issues, which you all know by now if you've been watching my channel. And I carried this uh, pocket-sized traveler's notebook in my wallet for a long time that had actually three um, sketchbooks in it. The, these two I never did work in. Uh, not that I won't at some time, but I never did. Um, did I just see notes in that one? No. Um, and it had this um, pocket insert thing in it, which is meant for that, which holds cards on one side and has a zip pocket on the other. Um, I had a couple spares of them, <clears throat> but I carried these in my wallet all the time along with, you know, the other necessities. And I bought the Filofax malt in and heard about it from Kent in the first place years ago. And when I bought it, I bought two of them because I thought if it ever breaks, I know I, I just know I'm going to want a spare hanging around. So I bought two. I was working full time at the time and money for me wasn't an issue and yeah so I invested. They're leather, they're not expen uh, not cheap. Um, sometimes you can find them um, reper uh, find them at the thrift shops. I have in the past found some at thrift shops and um, they're fabulous when you do because they're already broken in. Um, anyway, so I carried these around a lot. I've got you know glasses now on the asthma inhaler and I just thought you know how can I like reduce this down. I'd like to just have this. Then Ken came out with another video after not putting any out for a while and he sort of reminded me, oh hey, I did this thing and now I'm doing this thing. And so I was like, holy crap, I think I need to do that. So I took out my spare Filofax and I pulled the rings out of it. Now I'm not going to show you how to do this because Kent has a really good video on it, and I will put it in the link for it in the description below. And it was actually even easier than he showed on camera. And mine came out in one piece. It was super, super easy. And I'm gonna, I need a post-it note, hang on. Okay, finding a post-it note to cover up my insurance information led to, oh yeah, I wanna add post-it notes to the thing. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> it's been one of those days. So Ken has a really great uh, video on how to take these out and why he took them out. And there's a series of videos on him using his file effects without them in there. So I, I love his channel. I do recommend you go watch it, by the way. Um, and yeah, I really like it. So this is my new file effects without the rings in it. And I love this because, as I said with the old one, you've got a little pocket here, which is where I keep my driver's license and a credit card. I've got my ATM cards, some more payment cards, gas cards. There's a little po zip pocket here I can put tokens in, a little bit of change, 
Um, if you have a, a parking uh, ticket, like a meter, you know, if you're parking in a parking lot where you have to have the ticket to go pay before you leave. Um, I put these, remember I said something about the zip pockets? Hang on. So I had three of these. I had two I wasn't using. So I alternated them and put one with the card pockets and one with the zip pockets and tucked it inside because that's not going to be usable. But that leaves me with one card pocket and one zip pocket on the outside, which is usable. So I just tuck these in here. I've got my most used store cards here. Um, generally, this is a gift card I got for Christmas. Woohoo! Oh, shaky camera again, sorry. Um, I have a zip pocket here, which I put all my insurance cards in, my Red Cross card, any important business cards, um, other store cards. These are some, you know, coupons, a few postage stamps, um, and that's great. This is the sketchbook from that other little pocket size traveler's notebook. It had a different um, plastic uh, card here with the pen holder on it. It was just cardstock. And for this purpose, I thought, you know what? I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to laminate it, which I did. And I'm going to do that so it will tuck here. Then I have my sketchbook with me that I can continue to work on. I have a little dashboard to just kind of keep it flat. Um, and I have, um, I took the pen loop off of the old one and I E6000 it onto the, this new one. I did put a couple staples to hold it on while that dries. And then I put this on the back side of the staples so you don't have the staples. I love that, believe. This is a moleskin, um, pocket size moleskin monthly notebook. There's a lot of different size pockets, si a lot of different pocket size moleskins. You have to look at them all and choose what you think is the right one going to be for you. Kent uses one that has large spaces for um, every day. This one doesn't have that on purpose because I'm not going to use it for that. I'm not going to use this for daily journaling. I really just need it to keep track of stuff. Um, so I have a section in the front for personal information. I have a section in the front for doctors and medication. I have plenty of blank, spa blank note space to add other things as I'm working on it. I'll just write over this. I don't care what's in the background. Kent did say he's coming out with a video about what he's going to do with the front of this um, this year because all the moleskins have some kind of thing in the front like this and he doesn't use it either so I'm anxious to see what he does. I've got plenty of blank pages to modify mine a little bit. Um, mine has the month on two pages which is perfect. It's just enough room for me to write appointments in and then if I need to make more notes there's two note pages before you start the next month. And then in the back, there's a bunch more note paper. And this was on one of the pages in the old file of facts. I glued it in here. And as was this. And I loved both of them, so I carried them forward. And again, I attached them with E6000. Um, I have a pen here. There's a pen on the new pen loop over here. There is also a tuck pocket here. Now, if my cell phone was a little smaller, it, it might fit. Kent's actually fits in there. My, mine's not going to... I have a charging phone case. It is not going to fit in there. Um, you also could put them some things in here, too, if you wanted. And, of course, then one of my favorite things about this file of facts, you have a pocket in the back for cash. So, really, when I'm going out, if I have one of those days where I don't want to take my handbag, I can just take this and my rescue inhaler and my keys, and I'm good. I love that. So, anyway, pocket file of facts... alterations. Get brave, take those rings out. And the way Ken says to do it, my husband did help me, it actually doesn't. I didn't do anything to the holes. That's how they are. You could, there are other people on YouTube who actually punch through the lining also, and then they put uh, rivets in there or eyelets in there, and then they put elastic and turn it into a sort of a Midori notebook. So you could do that too. I like this very much. And it still closes. <laughs> so that's good. And this is, you know, it's not necessarily any less bulky than this. When these were full, it's a little bit less bulky. But it's only one thing instead of two things. That's what I love about it. Anyway, I hope it, gi I hope it gives you all some idea. Go watch Ken's videos. I am going to attach some. I just have this feeling I might 
at times want some sticky notes. Oops. So I grabbed a small pad of sticky notes out of my stash. I'm gonna just put them there. And then if I need to like make a note for somebody or write down a phone number, I got a place. All right, that's it everybody. I hope you, it gives you some ideas of what you can do. Modify your tools. Don't be afraid to make them your own and make them work for you. Yeah. All right, that's it. Go uh, like, share, and subscribe to Kent's channel. I, of course, will appreciate it if you do it here. If you want to follow me on social media or support the free content here on YouTube, there's a lot of different ways you can do all of those things. Click on the link below in the description that says Linktree slash my name. You're going to find every place I am on the internet, my Etsy shop, uh, listings for my book over on Amazon, uh, Patreon, um, the tip jar. There's so many different places. And I'm going to sh start shouting out people who support the channel. Uh, so I sh certainly will appreciate you doing that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel and Kent's. Hit the little bell icon too so you get notified when new videos come out. That's it for today. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.